Keith Warren here, and I've been shooting crossbows on television for over 25 years now. And uh, obviously the one thing people look for in a crossbow is they want it to perform properly, but I look at a whole lot more than that. I look at the, how simple they are or aren't to put together. So here's a brand new crossbow sent to me by Darton, and I decided on this video to go ahead and do an unboxing, if you will, of the product and putting it together. Uh, because I look at uh, the crossbows and I think that a lot of them I've put together, I mean, it's like you have to have an engineering degree to do so. But this right here has, when you're gonna open it up out of the box, there are three different parts to it. And this is all there is. And they say that uh, this is all you need. So let's go ahead and see what it takes to put this guy together. Uh, put everything out here on the table. And we're gonna get started. All right, even comes with the Allen wrenches in order to put it together, so that's kind of cool. All right, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna come up here to the forend. I do wanna tell you that the instructions did come with it. Okay, you're gonna get all the instructions on how to assemble it, all the parts and everything else. And I wanna stress to you, read the instructions. And I wanna also stress to you, safety. When you're working with a crossbow, it is paramount that you exercise safety. What we're gonna do, we're gonna remove these little bolts up front right here. Okay. And we're gonna come in on top of it with this little bracket right here. And the bolts are supplied. We're gonna put it right here in the in the same threaded holes, but with different bolts. The little bolts that have flat heads on them. Run this down and make sure and torque them up well. Okay, now what we're going to do, this is real important, we're going to take our riser and you'll notice it has a little tab on it right here. Uh, one thing you want to make sure of is follow the instructions. Uh, the riser needs to fit into the, into the uh, platform right here exactly, okay? And so what we're going to do is we're going to come up here, we're going to position it, it's kind of hard to do so sitting like that. We're going <clears> to <throat> position this to where, I want you to take a look at the bottom of this, this little piece right here. See the way it's canted down? What we're going to do is we're going to take it, and I want you to also take a look at the end of the barrel right there. You see the way this is, little half moon right there? What we're going to do, we're going to take and you got to make sure to match these up. So we're going to match up this little part right here. And we're going to match it up right there. Just like this. And we're going to start it. Okay. The next thing we want to do, we're going to take this little piece right here. And we're going to come in. And we're going to insert it right here. And we're going to come down. We're going to push it down just like that. And then we're going to set the riser on the end of the barrel. We're going to take a large bolt and stick it in right here. And start cinching it down. I'm going to turn this around so you can actually see. I want you to take a look as I torque this down. You're going to actually see this suck up and get all lined up tight together. Okay, I feel it happening. We're just going to now put the final touches on it here. There we 
go. Okay, that's what we have so far right here. All right, the next thing what we're going to do, we're going to put the stirrup on it. Okay, we're going to come to here, and on the bottom you'll see these holes right here. They're threaded holes. What we're going to do is we're going to take the stirrup, and you'll notice these holes match up perfectly. We're going to take the bolts that are provided inside the crossbow bag, the part bag, and we're going to set them right here. And then we're going to go ahead and thread them down. I know it can look very intimidating when you open up the box. You've got all this stuff once you put it out on the table. But it really is simple to do. Read the instructions and you will, uh, after you assemble one, you'll find out that it's a piece of cake. That right there is what it looks like fully assembled and on a scale of one to ten I'd go ahead and give this one a ten without question as far as the ease and putting it together right out of the box so uh, we can put on any kind of site we want to at this point uh, Darden makes lots of cool accessories including uh, you know they, they provided the scopes and slings and all different kinds of cool accessories but what we're gonna do we're gonna put a special site on this because I've got a blind hunter a blind hunter that I'm gonna be doing a hunt with soon and he's going to be using this dart and crossbow, and we're going to just see how it works out. But on a scale of 1 to 10, like I said, I'd give this bad boy a 10.